I'm going to show you how to make a 92% return on your money. TJ, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise, and uh, today we are working with my guy, TJ. TJ, man, me and you have done, uh, I think, nine properties together thus far, gone, gone through this process nine times. We've uh, looked over nine properties, some I presented to you, some you presented to me. Uh, off the top of my head, brother, recently, I think you sent me four properties. Uh, I think three of them were duds, and one would be okay for a flip, but you uh, it wasn't really exactly uh, panning out how you wanted it. So you had one more property left in your uh, package that you purchased from me. You purchased the 10 property package. Uh, and you said, James, man, these, uh, these ones I sent you, they turn out to be duds, dude. Do your magic. Find me something bad ass. I remember I sent you the one that my team is currently working on uh, the renovation right now, 3965 West 22nd. Uh, if anybody else is curious, I'll drop that in the show notes below. You guys could check that property out. You love that deal, and you were hoping I could mimic something similar to that. And uh, not to toot my own horn here or nothing, bro, but I think I found you something better than that, something sweet. I think you're going to be really, really excited to move on this property. 319 12th Street, Elyria, Ohio, 44035. This has been listed about uh, three months ago by a uh, real estate agent out of Howard Hanna. Now, she's listed it at 24900 And uh, there really is uh, <laughs> not a lot. Not a lot has gone into this listing. It's priced freaking great, okay? It's priced awesome. So you got to be like, why in the hell is this thing on the market uh, 90 days in? It, it shouldn't be. But uh, when you actually look at the listing here, uh, I can see why. As far as uh, what she wrote about it, all the information she's given you, price to sell, exclamation, exclamation point. That's it, right? That's what the public gets. That's all you guys get, just price to sell. As far as the photos, uh, we got one photo. We got the front yard, right? We got, that's it. We got the front yard and that it's priced to sell. We don't know anything else about it. Now, uh, there is a broker remark section, which you guys do not have access. Uh, I can't give you that access. I can't show you that. Uh, it is not allowed to be uh, shown to the general public, right? It's, uh, it's private, only for licensed brokers, okay? Uh, and in that, she writes, 24-hour notice, tenant occupied, no security deposit. So remember that. There is no security deposit with this tenant. But here's the thing, right? Two types of buyers out there, bro. People that want to move into the house, well, okay. We don't really have anything for them. They don't know anything about the house. They don't know, uh, you know, what it looks like. And we got a tenant in there. So they're not interested. Landlords, real estate investors, they're scrolling through this. They got no information. And as far as the uh, tenant, well, we don't know shit about the tenant, right? If uh, I tell you this is a rental property and you're looking to buy a rental property, what is your very first question? Well, how much is the rent, right? She doesn't even do that. So uh, because of this lackluster listing, I, I think uh, you're going to get pretty lucky here and that this is still on the market. Now, I, I followed up with her and I found out that the property is actually rented at $750 a month on a lease that expires at the end of this year. So the lease is good till December 2020, which is totally cool, man. That's great because what we're going to do, we're going to burr this out. But long term, I like this even better than a regular burr, right? You take a regular burr, it's empty. You got to put up that rehab money right away. So you purchase your asset and then immediately you're, you're shoving more money uh, to Holton Wise, right? Whereas this one, you're going to purchase this asset and then it's going to start making you money immediately with the low rent. But then we have a ton of meat on the bone when we burr this thing out. Right now, rent it at $750 a month. 
when we burr this out eventually, when we get this to where we need to be, after a big old reno, we're going to allow you to burr out all your money and get a ton more rent. Eventually, I want to see this property rented to a Section 8 tenant for $1,000 a month. It will be bringing in $12,000 a year. Now, as far as the performance of that $1,000, you're going to be spending approximately 468. Now I know we're going to renovate everything, but we're still going to account for repairs, vacancy, capex, things of that nature. We're still going to account for all that because just because we were renovated once doesn't mean it's not going to happen again, right? You could change the roof out. You got a brand new roof, right? You spend like six G's on a roof. Okay. Roof's totally brand new, but that don't mean that's the last roof you're ever going to need to put on the building, right? You're still going to need to put another roof on again in another 30 years. So we're going to account for that. Same thing with the $3,000 furnace or the $1,000 hot water tank. Just so you know, the hot water tanks aren't going to last 30 years like furnaces and roofs. They're only going to last about 15. But we're going to account for all that. We're going to account for the taxes, the insurance, which, by the way, everybody, show notes below. Click the link. We have an insurance company. We can handle insurance for investors coast to coast. So if you guys are looking to lower your insurance premiums, click there. No obligation. Just give us the information on your portfolio. We'll shoot you a quote, and it's probably going to be lower than what you're already paying. So all that jazz, right? Thousand comes in. I anticipate spending four sixty eight on average, not every month. This is real estate, unlimited amount of variables, right? These are tenants, okay? I can't control what they're doing, but we can mitigate the risk, right? This is a nice, you know, cool little C class neighborhood, and we're going to mitigate any risks that come. Well, not any risk, but we're going to mitigate as many of the risks as possible that come with C class tenancy by getting government guaranteed rent, y'all, right? You know, nice. Fancy suburbs, you get like super stable folk as you go to like C and then of course more so in D and F neighborhoods, you get unstable folk living there. But we can stabilize it by getting that government guaranteed rent, which of course is the most important thing. So doing that on average, I anticipate uh, making an NOI of 532 a month out of the $1,000 a month, which is cool because right now it currently brings in 750 now, with the 750, because of our expenses, 468, the 750 currently, as it sits, you should still cash flow a decent chunk of money. You're going to cash flow approximately $307 a month. All the other expenses are going to remain the same. Your PM is going to go down 25 a month. You're not going to have to pay 100. You're only going to have to pay 75 because we charge 10%. So currently, as it sits, you should cash flow right off the rip just for buying this thing and doing nothing should cash flow approximately $307 a month. And then after we renovate it, get a section eight tenant paying market rent of a thousand, that's going to go up to 532. Now, as far as like, how do we go from where we're at today to a thousand dollars a month? I want to see you spend $30,000. Now, I also want to see you purchase this for $23,000. That's very close to what she's listed at. She's listed at $24,900 and it's been on the market for 90 days. I explain why. The reason why that it's still on the market 90 days later has nothing to do with that price. The price is right. It's the marketing and the effort that went into this listing is just pure garbage. But the price is right. So don't think we're going to come lowball these guys, dude. They got this sucker price to sell. They're ready to go. You might not even be able to get it for $23,000. We might submit the offer. Like, I want to just submit a cash offer. Boom, 23000 coming with our highest and best. And they might go, fuck you. It's twenty four nine or fuck yourself. And then if that's what their response is, we're going to pay twenty four nine, bro, because it's a solid deal. All right? It's great at twenty four nine. If we can get it for twenty three, even cooler. Of course, we're going to make that offer contingent on inspection. And the only thing that we got to really look at on this inspection that's going to blow our budget of thirty k is foundation issues. If we end up with foundation issues, that's going to be a problem. That's why we get the third party inspection, right? Foundation issues, man, that's going to be, you know, probably that'll blow the deal. That if, if we have to like replace, uh, dig out and replace a wall uh, in the basement, that's going to be a problem. So we're going to probably need to X and A out of the deal. But if there is no foundation issues, other than that, anything else in this, uh, in, in this uh, inspection report, it's relevant, dude. We're going to anticipate it. Because with that 30K, bro, I'm planning on doing everything. I'm planning on repainting all, all the walls, agreeable gray, white trim. I want to see some nice 
finished hardwoods on the floor. If not, we're going to put vinyl. I want to do premium upgrades in that kitchen, in that bath. And with that $30,000 budget, I know we got a roof, a hot water tank, and a furnace. I'm not going to say we're going to be able to replace all three of those because they all are working right now. Uh, but whichever ones are, are, are towards the, the closest to end of life, we'll be able to replace a couple of those as well and still stay around our $30,000 budget. It is paramount that we go uh, full steam ahead on this reno, right? You don't have to do the reno right away, right? You can't do the reno till at least January of 2020, but even then, I don't even think you should. Like, you're still going cash flow, 300 bones a month. So just like, let's ride this tenant out, bro. There's no reason to, to remove an income stream to just drop another 30K. Let's just ride this out to this tenant naturally turns. And you know, when the lease expires, we could increase it incrementally, like 25 here, 25 there. Um, but eventually when it does go vacant, that's when we make the move. That's when we spend 30 Gs. And we want to make this thing as badass as possible. A, to attract those section eight tenants uh, that are gonna give us that guaranteed government income. In B, so the appraiser gives us a great comp, okay? If we're all into this thing for 53000 I believe with the reno I've got planned, that $30,000 reno, we can get it to appraise for 65000 You get this thing to appraise for 65000 that means the lenders are going to give you back $48,750, meaning you're only going to end up into this deal 4250 and you're going to be bringing in almost $2500 a year off of 4250 that TJ is a 92% ROI and I'm not pulling these comps out of my butt I'm not pulling that price uh that ARV of 65,000 out of my ass I don't do that I uh I go off of data okay so of course I've got the data for you as you see We've got the comps, right? 62, 5, 69, and 78. So I gave you a very conservative comp of 65,000, right? These, these properties are here. These are our closest comps. It's possible it could appraise for even more and you could have an unlimited return. You're going to get over 100% return basically, right? I mean, you might make more every year than what you've got all into it if it appraises for even more. Uh, but I want to I wanna give you guys conservative estimates, right? Because, you know, I can't tell you exactly what the appraiser is going to do. Uh, so I, I try to lean on the conservative side to help you guys, uh, you know, get an understanding. I like to uh, under promise over deliver, but with everything here, the data is telling us this is going to be the deal you are looking for, brother. So on the last one of our package, you asked me to hit you a home run, and I believe I've delivered. So uh, follow up with my team via email, uh, and let's, let's get in there. Let's get aggressive. Let's go no nonsense, dude. Let's just fucking 23. If they say fuck off, boom, we go right to list. Let's get this deal done. Let's start collecting that rent. And then let's just ride that tenant until it's time for them to move out. Then let's let's put in the money. Let's deck this house out. Make it beautiful. Do not hold back on that rental because everything we put into that, you're going to get rewarded for it on the back end with that awesome burr. And then once we get all that new cash for you, you'll be able to reinvest that to continue to build up your portfolio. Everybody else who's watching this video, I sent this to TJ 60 or 90 days ago privately. If you'd like to work with me like this, one-on-one, -on -one, putting together deals like this, I want you to go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, click on the MLS Search Analysis Show. A lot of people are getting a 10 property package, which is, in my opinion, the very best thing you can do because it allows us to work together for the long haul. We go back and forth on 10 properties, really help you build your portfolio. Not all the deals are going to work. We're trying to get properties at highly discounted rates. So I need some time to work with you long term so we can put together some good deals. And then TJ, brother. Uh, what you need to do, man, after we get you some, some more funds, let's get ready for round two and let's build your portfolio, get yourself another 10 property package. Let's keep going. Uh, cause you know, a portfolio of like four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 properties. That's cool. But guys, I'm anticipating a lot of you want to build big portfolios. You want to do it big. Well, I want to see you guys get up to 50, a hundred, 200 doors. So let's do it. We've put together all the pieces you need top to bottom here at Holton Wise to build your real estate portfolios remotely and easily. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. 
This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our U.S.-based support team by phone, email, and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price-to-rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee, as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Beal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.